Marcus Asone is an internationally known artist, acclaimed for his vivid oil paintings of landscapes and cityscapes. His images of mountain villages above craggy shorelines and sunset-lit clouds reflected in the sea are coveted among collectors. But his latest artistic turn, while winning raves from art critics, has alienated others. Home on the Streets is the first one-man show depicting the personal tragedy of homelessness. It took Sassoni over four years to complete these urban landscapes. The first year was an entire research, because if I take something, I have to participate, I have to be part of that. And I started collecting articles and see what City Hall was saying, and the mayor at that time, and uh, everybody. So then in a, a year later, I start painting the figures, and these things start coming out. At that time, I remember in 92, some of my consultants and said, Marco, what are you doing? Your career, your this, your that, galleries that screamed for work out of New York, Chicago, Los Angeles especially. And I go, well, I am painting, you know? I was locked up in the studio painting. I gave up all this stuff. And uh, there was nothing that I could do, really, except for continuing. And then they kept saying, this problem is going to be over. Little did they know that they were all wrong. For over two years, Sassoni dressed as a homeless person to get to know them as people and understand their lives. I started here in the streets. And uh, so I went down there with jeans and uh, sketchbook, camera and everything. I had a huge beard and long hair and stuff. So, oh man, sit down here. You know, I was one of them in many cases. A man that uh, was uh, very eloquent was a guy that I met uh, by the name of Fred uh, in Chinatown. He was dirty, he was ugly, he was, uh, the friend that was completely passed out, intoxicated, and he started talking. He was so articulate. He goes, uh, I have a college degree. I go, I can tell, yeah, you certainly talk better than me, I said. <laughs> and he was telling me the story that uh, he uh, lost his wife, and then the jobs. A couple of jobs that he, that he lost. Uh, one in a factory, one as a cleaning for a school, janitor. And uh, I said, but wife, you have a college education, why you? He goes, well, it's part of the dying down spiral. I met another man at the Embarcadero near a fountain, and I titled the painting, the, the man with blue eyes, beautiful blue eyes. The rest was dirty and dark, with hair sticking out here all over. But it was a beautiful sight. Sassona's bold, haunting paintings have been an artistic success, but so far, not a commercial one. I have uh, alienated all these shows for six, seven years to galleries all over the country, uh, galleries that they were commercially successful and, and my work was selling. I had some sell-out shows. I uh, remember shows in New York where uh, there was a line in, on the streets just to get in and uh, uh, 30 paintings gone. Well, uh, it's not happening and uh, now with these works. And um, I understand, at the same time, I had to do what I had to do, and I'm doing what I feel that I have to do. And perhaps uh, there might be a corporation or a public uh, space that would like to purchase one of these works, which incidentally, uh, some of the proceeds will go to the homeless. But for Sissoni, the real struggle is for this country to come to terms with the homeless problem. We have a problem in our hands with these homelessness in this country. We I feel it is a disgrace and uh, something had to be done. I don't know. It's almost like a, it's, you know, I'm not here to say I want to do this, I want to... I hope that my show will provide more awareness for this issue.